Like the pine trees lining the winding road I got a name, I got a name like the singing bird in the My grandpa came to the first Daytona 500 in 1959. He told me he'd never seen anything so big. After grandpa brought dad to his first 500, all he could talk about were the cars, the drivers, and the speed. Rolling me down the highway, rolling me down the highway. Everybody loves Richard Petty. He won here seven times. The race that stands out the most was the one I lost in 1976. David Pierce and myself raced right down to the end of the race. Then we hit coming off of four. And he comes out of the infield there and beats me to the start finish line. The name Allison is big here. Bobby won the race three times and beat his son Davey to the line in 1988. I went down low and ran slow, but he was too strong. Jeff Gordon, how awesome is he? The first time I went out, I mean, I was grinning from ear to ear when I got wide open. This is everything and more than I've ever dreamed of. Well, this year it's my turn. Dad's taking me to my first 500. Qualifying, autographs, grandstands full of people, and we're all cheering for our own heroes. the whole Daytona 500 different. You have two months to prepare, you have two weeks of testing for two laps of qualifying. And that just shows you how much emphasis we really put on qualifying for the Daytona 500. Everybody wants to sit on that front row. It's a pride thing. that it all does come together and that nothing breaks. Just look at that tachometer going in that long back straightaway, and you're just pleading and begging that you see another 100 RPMs more than you've seen all day long, because you know that means you're going faster. Once they reach a certain level of their mental preparedness, then the physical becomes very easy. The race day is like a vacation compared to pit practice. The hardest work we do is for the Daytona 500. Most time and energy is spent for that one race. Even as early as October to the January, we're doing restricted plate development for that race. It's our Super Bowl is the first race of the year.
time, weather, and... Tap past the hour. Good morning, Daytona Beach. It's beautiful outside, and we look for some more of the same over the next few days. You might want to do some of those outdoor activities you've been planning. Of course, for those of you at the Speedway or headed that way, it's a great day for the Daytona 500. Hang on for some more great music, but first, let's go to the local news. Now things are shaping up down at the Speedway. There's a lot of race fans that are dying to get out of their houses, uh, to get to the racetrack, hear some noise, see some speed. And when you get to Daytona in February and everybody's had cabin fever all winter, uh, everybody's excited to get back racing again. And, uh, you know, what better way to do it than have our biggest race of the year at Daytona? The fans are just like us. They got uh, cabin fever. They've been up all winter long, uh, uh, just kind of waiting until Daytona gets here. It's a lot of anticipation coming up because of all the winter testing and everybody uh, preparing for two months. And it's almost ready for the green flag racing to start. It's just the complete atmosphere of the Daytona 500 that charges the race fans up. I mean, it's a, it's a great racing spectacle. You know you're getting close when you get to the driver's meeting. Only two more hours till the start of the motors. Morning, welcome. As Noel mentioned, remember, if everybody would please. But the Daytona 500 is such an important race. There's so much uh, emphasis put on doing well there because you have everyone sponsors uh, first big TV race of the year. It's uh, it's huge for a race team to go and be successful. As a car owner, it's one of the most prized jewels that you could possibly get. You don't feel like you've accomplished anything in, until you, A, get to compete there, and then, B, when you win there, it's a tremendous feeling. Then it starts slowly setting in that you know, you're, you're going to the Daytona 500, and you're in the Daytona 500. Um, the emotions build. Uh, the warmth from the fans, it's just it's such a big event. like, okay, we've been here for two weeks. Now it's time to race. I hope I end up on top when it's all over. Really, once you put that helmet on and you fire that engine up, a green flag drops and it's just down to business. Field beginning to roll as they pull off pit road and swing onto the racetrack. The electricity has been in the air all morning long from the garage right to the top of the grandstand here. Everybody anticipating what they're going to see in the Daytona 500. Looks like the car is open as it's fun, huh? Have fun out there. He's driving like he's stolen. Single pile behind you, you're all clear. Not making any moving moves out there, just learning what it takes to drive at these high speeds. Oh. Yeah.
Oh, trouble in turn one. Gordon goes to the ground. Gotta go low, gotta go low. Kevin Harvey making it through somehow. A massive pile up in turn one and two. Behind you, Rick. Behind you. 15 to 18 cars are going off. Low, 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 bad. I can't wait to get to victory lane to see this year's winner.